Well, with demonstrators voicing their concerns, we have also seen some college campuses that are taking a slightly different approach. A flyer from Ohio State University reveals a concept called a reflection room. This is a space for the school community to come together in a stress-free environment while the inauguration was taking place. Of course, it didn't take long for most to realize that this was a safe space concept. And that brought back some of the criticism from groups that we are coddling our young adults too much. Now, we have talked on our show about the safe space concept and kind of saving trigger warnings. One issue that people are having is that a lot of these programs were paid for with school tuition um, and, and federal funding. So do you think that this is a fair use of, of that aid? I think college uh, in general has been a point, uh, a, a place where people have voiced their opinions, regardless of what side of the aisle you're on. And um, a lot of students have over the years protested things that they are in support or not support of. So I think it's okay. I think, you know, that's part of college to be able to express yourself and learn that. So I don't have a problem with, you know, funds being used for college students and they're doing that. What we need to learn, though, I think, is to listen to the other side we yeah. don't agree with. To just step back, know what you believe, but listen to the other side and find out if there is something in there you can agree with. I agree with that. I mean, I, 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 I hear the point of people saying, you know, th that money shouldn't be spent for this. But for me personally, the other side of that is if you don't bring people together in times of strife, look at all the shootings that we've had on yeah. campuses. <laughs> this is, I mean, if you want your campus to be um, held accountable, this is an action to say we're trying to create a place to kind of capture those people that are feeling at odds or I think, at loss. I mean, I think it's a healthy way to communicate. If you can't do it in another way, I do believe in the whole coddling idea too, but that's, I, I don't want to take it to that level mm -hmm. because right. I still think it's, I think any time you have a conversation where both sides are able to speak freely and try to maybe just find a happy median, I think it's possible mm -hmm. or positive. And you know, one thing I think is wrong with the shooters is they can't put themselves in another person's position. So if you're in that room and you come to find that other person is a human being, maybe that would keep somebody from shooting. It's true. I mean, they're we, also crazy, <laughs> but <laughs> there's I mean, that we, too. We live in a place where you can just put your earmuffs on and not listen to anybody yes. else's opinion yes. if you want. So I, I like the idea. College should be a place where you're exposed to things you don't like or don't yes. agree yeah. with and other opinions. And find how to find that compromise. I think far, somewhere along the line in the last how many years, we've gotten to a place where if you don't believe my views, I'm not going to talk to you. You're stupid and mm -hmm. you're this and you're negative stuff. Instead of there was a point where if you weren't of the same belief is me at least I would have a conversation with you and mm -hmm. I would be able to interact with you now it's like if you don't agree we can't talk and we that's one of the friends. reasons I uh -huh. love this show because there's for instance me and Linda will be on the complete opposite sides but I can hear her and maybe sometimes something I say she can also hear and then we come to a different viewpoint because of the interaction mm -hmm. and, and we hear from our viewers too and that's one of the things that we love is that mm -hmm. this show is based on on everyone's opinions, but at the end of the day, we still cheers and, <laughs> and walk yeah. off. The One desk. of the terrible things I've learned is I've got as I've gotten older, I'm not always right. Oh, <laughs> oh. That's been a terrible it's your shot first to me. Voyage into adulthood, right? That's yeah. what it is. It's when you leave your home or you go and you do things and you don't have to w have mom wake you up and. So to be able to go into adulthood, as I have a cocktail in my hand, <laughs> to be able to go into adulthood and have an adulthood. opinion and learn, your, learn from somebody else's opinion, that's really the most. Yes. So yeah, why not? Amen that wasn't that. a gunshot. My makeup bag just <laughs> fell off my chair. I was, like, I was about to drop and roll. <laughs>